Hello Virgo, welcome to the Whistling Hermit channel. Today we are going to try to do an earth, air, fire and water reading. And the tarot card that we are going to use is the Modern Spellcasters Tarot. For our main energy, we have here the Five of Wands. Okay. You see here uh, five people who are blindfolded and are trying to uh, hit, uh, sort of like uh, they're playing a game and they're trying to hit something. And it seems that what they're going to hit is a beehive. So it's going to be uh, quite an interesting situation here. So uh, it makes me feel that somehow you are in a situation right now of learning something. But at the same time, it can be also in a situation for some of you. It can be a situation where all of you are trying to find something, but all of you couldn't find it. But the problem is uh, you, also, you are also aware uh, that you're not the only one who is d trying to look for it and I, I think there is a certain excitement in it maybe uh, there is a certain uh, right now a, a certain uh, challenge or competition within a certain group or maybe in your working place where everybody is after a certain prize no? but the, there is also a, a, a certain joy in the competition maybe something like that there's a certain joy in it, but at the same time, there's a certain risk also. Uh, they, you have to be a little bit careful in such a way that it will not hurt anybody. And there's also a possibility that everybody will be also affected by it. So whatever this activity is, uh, you all need to be careful because uh, the consequences could affect everyone. Now, uh, the problem is uh, somebody sees everything, but is just quiet, as if he is just happy. He is just happy with the competition that is happening between these people. There's a certain mischief in it, so uh, maybe you need to to be more careful, okay? Because uh, there seems to be a certain situation where there is a potential danger for everyone. It can be also that you are in a situation right now. You might be one of the participants in the situation and everybody is happy but there is a potential danger and somebody is seeing it and uh, he seems to doesn't mind about it he is happy that if, if ever it will lead to a certain consequence he doesn't seem to care too much at all as if he will find joy if, if, if something happens okay so just be careful if you are one of the participants, just be careful. Uh, be careful to take care of not only yourself but also your other, other participants of whatever this activity is. Now, if you are somebody who can see a potential danger in whatever this activity is, uh, and you feel that it can affect several participants there, then please don't hesitate to inform them don't hesitate to warn them uh, charity calls that you you take care of the welfare of the people who are who you are working with okay so this is what we can see right now for the main energy now we will put here a card on the southern part another uh, this one will represent the earth okay earth okay I was, uh, this is an earth, air, fire, and water reading. Okay, so this lower part represents the earth. This part represents the air. This upper part represents the fire, element of fire. And finally, this part on the right represents the element of water. Okay, now, the earth element represents everything that is happening in your physical world or in your physical realm so these are the things that are situations happening in you right now the one on top are the things that are happening in your inner world so 
your interaction with the divine, your interaction with the universe, the thoughts that, uh, the things that are happening also in your subconscious mind. Okay, so these are in the inner world. This is in the exterior world. The one on the left are the things that are happening in your mind right now. So uh, earth, air, the, er the air is the one that is happening in your mind right now. And the one on the right side, the, the water, is the one that is happening in your emotions. And this is the main situation. Okay. So, it seems that in the physical realm, yeah, something new came up. Uh, we have here the Ace of Cups. And uh, maybe it can be a certain relationship, a new relationship came up. It can be a new friendship or a romantic one. You see here two flowers and uh, somehow there is this fish. Uh, if it is a, what, what, whether it is a friendship or a relationship, there seems to be a certain very strong bond between you and this person. Uh, the bond is not just in the getting you, you agree in the physical realm, like you agree with ideas and everything. There is a certain uh, underlying uh, sort of like bond that is deeper than what is physical. Uh, you feel it somehow by intuition that you are attracted to each other. So it's an intuitive or attraction, something that is deeper than the physical one. And there are certain things that are happening in your subconscious mind right now that uh, maybe it's, it's sort of like, you, you know how it is sometimes uh, when you are connected to a person in the subconscious level, wherein you don't have to say things sometimes. All you have to do is to look at each other and you already understand what is on each other's mind. There are also certain situations where even if you do not see the person somehow by intuition, you know that the person is nearby, something like that. So there is a certain band, a very close band with somebody. It can be somebody new that makes you very close to this person. Now, uh, at this present time, so this is a good one, no? uh, it seems that you are in touch, there is a certain relationship you have right now that makes you feel really very close. But when it comes to your mind, your mind is preoccupied with a lot of things right now. Uh, it can be related to work. It can be related also to, to a certain aspect, a certain situation in your life right now. Uh, you're so preoccupied with a lot of things that uh, are a little bit unclear, but you know you have to handle them. So there is a certain situation that you are facing right now that preoccupies your mind and it makes you feel tired or burdened in the, just by thinking about it. Maybe it is related to this activity. Something that you maybe by intuition feel is there's something more. It's like just a tip of the iceberg. And somehow there is a certain part of you that uh, there's still a certain mystery in it. Like for example, this person, he is carrying the lugs, but the lugs are so preoccupied. Uh, the lugs are so f filling up his arms to the point that he couldn't see anymore where he is walking. You see, he he is walking a little bit unstable. Okay, so uh, it can be that for some of you, you are in a uh, situation right now where you are busy thinking of something or many things to the point that you are not able to think well to the point that you might miss uh, certain aspects of certain situations there's a probability that you will commit mistakes there's a probability that you might bring yourself into harm or maybe bring other people into harm so if you are in a re work right now that uh wherein you, are a res you have a responsibility of taking care of several people who are entrusted to you, which can be symbolized by this person. You know, uh, try to take some pause, some pause and try to see, wait, uh, am I handling the situation well? Or am I putting some people in harm? I might be too preoccupied with many thoughts that uh, I might be neglecting my responsibility of taking care about certain people. So uh, I think there's a need for you to take some pause. 
uh, not to be too preoccupied with a lot of things because you might commit a certain mistakes that might affect the welfare of other people around you so maybe you are overburdened like this person right now with many thoughts many responsibilities that you might not perform well and that your mistakes might cause uh, might affect other people's welfare emotionally i feel there is a need for you to balance things in your life right now like for example i feel for many for some of you the problem is that you are too overburdened you are overburdened by responsibilities and because of that there's a potential of committing a mistakes that might affect other people you are being invited right now emotionally and i feel you feel it also there is a need for you to stop for a while and smell the roses stop for a while and enjoy the sunrises and the sunsets i think you need to have some me time it's as if you are you need to nurture yourself a little bit more not to put your nose in the grinding stone too much you need to really make time for yourself because when you make time for yourself it will allow you to perform better in your work and it will allow you to anticipate possible dangers if there are and it will make you a little bit sharper to avoid certain problems in the near future so i feel at this present time there is a need for you to balance between work and nurturing yourself you might be too overburdened right now with responsibilities that you do not have any more time to allow to take care of the goose that lays the golden egg which is you if you do not spend time more time with yourself you might and if you do not get this balancing that is being somehow shown here by the temperance you see this person he is he or she is enjoying the beauty of nature and because of that he or she has have uh, is experiencing a certain form of peace so i feel this is what is needed by you right now virgo to spend more time nurturing yourself so that you can have a better outlook of life to regain a certain balance in your life to re re regain a certain peace in your life so that you will be able to function well uh, virgos are well known for giving their best if you are not able to take care of yourself then your performance will not be as best as you would want it to be and it might affect also the people who are involved in this work so just be careful it seems that you are being asked to attain a balance of work and at the same time nurturing yourself at this present time i feel that your inner world or the universe or the divine is telling you that at this time you feel a little bit threatened and you are in a defensive mode it can be related to this main energy you see these people no uh, you are in a defensive mode because you feel that maybe you are in a certain situation i don't know how what the situation is you feel that this situation is potentially dangerous also to you so your defenses are up just as these people no they know that they are not the only one who is blindfolded so they are also in the defensive one and you see here the potential of hurting each other so you can see that you are in a situation where there is a potential that you might get hurt so you are in a situation where you are truly guarded you are looking outside at the same time you see there are walls so you are a little bit on a little bit guarded uh, maybe there is really a need for you to back out a little bit maybe distance yourself to the situation allow yourself to nurture yourself a little bit more maybe if you distance yourself from the situation you will not feel too threatened at this present time the beautiful thing about it is whatever your situation is the universe is guarding you the ones can symbolize the the universe taking care of you but uh, even the universe are a little bit guarded try to see maybe you are in a situation right now that you need to withdraw from at this present time because when you look at the forest even the forest seems a little bit uh, the atmosphere seems to be a little bit uh, strained it's not like with the trees uh, with leaves that are blooming 
everything like that everything seems to be a little bit bare so it can be that you are in a situation right now that is draining you of your energy it's as if the trees are not full of life it's a uh, trees that seem to have lost a little bit of their life so uh, you might be in a situation that your energies are being drained your reflexes are not as good as it is before the possibility of, of uh, causing harm to other people is a little bit high I think there is a need for you to distance yourself from the situation for a while nurture yourself a little bit more maybe take a short break for a day or two just distance yourself from the situation just rest nurture yourself a little bit more maybe go with this person who is coming who has just arrived in your life who understand your situation sometimes it helps to have somebody to who would listen to you and maybe be a, a sounding board for you in the situation that you are in and hopefully if you give yourself a little distance you might have a better bird's eye view of the situation and also you will allow you to rest your mind heart body and spirit and maybe allow you to recover and when you recover maybe you will be able to avoid potential dangers or potentials problems that might come along the way so this is what i can see right now in your reading virgo i hope that you resonate with this one and somehow by the reading you will already know what situation you are in right now that you need to distance yourself a little bit more for a certain period of time in order to nurture yourself okay it says here we will end with some uh, oracle cards and it says here inner child you are currently healing old emotional wounds okay so for some of you this can also the main energy can also uh, show an inner healing uh, where there might be a past situation that has caused you some hurt and uh, this was not very clear for you at that time but it has caused you some hurt Maybe these thoughts is the one that is preoccupying you right now that it's difficult for you to work with other people. You easily snap with them. It can be possible. And you really need to distance yourself to get more time to, to allow yourself to heal and maybe will allow yourself to be uh, less of a person that might cause hurt to others. To others no? Synchronicities. Allow the magic to unfold as synchronicity synchronistic events lead you to a new direction now it seems that the universe are trying to warn you right now so they are giving you messages maybe they will help you get yourself out of this difficult situation that you might have right now so allow the universe to guide you be aware of the signals or the events that are happening around you maybe the universe is already leading you somewhere else listen okay past life connections you are currently healing past life wounds okay so for some of you you are really uh, undergoing a healing of your inner child or past life uh, so the the wound is not just in your present lifetime for some of you maybe the wound is related also to a past life could it be that this person who is coming into your life or have just arrived in your life is also somebody who had been with you in some of your past lives? Can it be that this is a soulmate or member of your soul family because you seem to have a deeper band, a band that is uh, not just in the physical realm but also something that is also strong that, to the point that it, you can already get in touch with you even in the, in the non-physical realm authentic self-expression be true to who you really are and your life will change in the most amazing ways so i feel there's a need for you to spend more time to yourself spend more time to allow yourself to heal especially with the situation that you're having i think you need to distance yourself to allow your authentic self to come out maybe spend some time with this person that you seem to have a very deep bond maybe that being with this person will allow you to heal not only your present situation but also wounds that you might have had in your past lives and uh, be true to who you really are okay if you are in a situation right now that you are not happy 
maybe it's time for you to consider another endeavor okay and your life be true to who you really are and your life will change in the most amazing way so maybe the universe is giving you a new inspiration right now maybe the ace of cups is a new inspiration or a new situation that the universe is giving you the aces are usually gifts for some of you it can be a new relationship for some of you it can be a new inspiration that you love because the cup is related to love it can be also a new inspiration that allows you to love people more it can be no? so it can be that there is a new inspiration that the universe is giving you something that will set you free that will make you less defensive that will make you be less burdened that will remove you from potential dangers that will allow you to nurture yourself it can be so be true to yourself if you're not happy in the situation where you are right now and you are inspired to do something that you really love it can be symbolized by this if it's something that you are being inspired to do and you need to let go of something that is no longer making you happy be true to who you really are and your life will change in the most amazing ways well virgo it seems that now it's becoming a little bit clearer for for some of you it can be like that uh, there's a need for healing maybe this new gift that you're receiving from the universe is the answer not only to your present situation but for your past past uh, hurts or past wounds no so um, maybe this inspiration is the way out so be true if you feel you're not happy anymore in your situation and there's a new inspiration that you love then maybe it's time for you to consider this new chapter or new cup that is being offered to you well virgo i hope this reading has helped you i hope you were able to find some inspiration or some clarification to your present situation i thank you for the constant uh, for the subscription the constant support to my channel for the likes and the good comments i look forward to seeing you again next time if this card can help somebody don't hesitate to this card reading has helped can help somebody don't hesitate to share it with them until next time may the lord continue to bless your ways